What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. We're gonna be talking today about how to touch a girl to turn her on. So when you're touching a woman, two things can happen. Either she can really like it, she can want more of it, she can be aroused, she can be having fun, feeling sexy, or she can be feeling creeped out, unsafe, uncomfortable, and doesn't want to interact with you again. You're both probably gonna feel pretty horrible after that situation, okay? <laughs> now, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but a lot of my students and clients fear being put into the bad category. So if you watch this video, you're gonna know exactly how to be put into the good category, okay? This is something that I've gotten good at doing. I'm a very physical person, but obviously, when I first started out, I wasn't good at this, okay? So you're gonna learn exactly how to touch a woman to turn her on in this video, okay? The first thing that you should know about how to touch a girl to turn her on is that the biggest deterrent for being touched, for physically escalating with a woman is fear. Her safety is the most important thing she's worried about. You know, she's dealing with a guy that's bigger than her. So how do you touch her in a way that's gonna make her feel safe? You start out small. Start out with like a high five, a hug, or something that's platonic where even if it doesn't work out, even if you guys aren't planning on hooking up or dating, you know, it can still go okay. I high five and hug my friends, you know, people that I'm not interested in. So that's one thing that you can start doing too, is add a little bit of physicality to, you know, with the people that you hang out with and see how they respond to you. You always wanna see how somebody responds. If I give somebody a high five like this and they just kinda high five and move away, that probably means they don't want me to touch them again. That's totally okay, all right? Now, if I high five them and they do this, that means they're into me. That means they want me to keep touching them, okay? They, you know, they, they're cool with me being in their space. If you get that, that's telling you, that's kind of giving you the green light to continue talking to this person, to continue progressing things forward, all right? I would start out with a hand-to-hand -hand thing, then you can go to like a hand-to-shoulder thing, and you don't want to linger. The guys who linger with the touching creep people out. The way you make somebody savor something, the way you make somebody appreciate something that much more is you take it away. People don't really, they're like, if you touch a girl, and at first maybe she might be a little bit, uh, there's gonna be a little bit of danger, there's gonna be a little bit of stranger factor in there. But then you take it away and she was like, huh, I kinda like that, you know? Maybe I'd like for him to touch me again. But if you keep your hand there, then you're just, that's gonna be all bad, you're gonna creep her out, <laughs> all right? So after you've maybe done a hand to shoulder or something like that, you can go for a hug or um, hand to waist or, or something like that. Again, pay attention how she responds to you. If you touch her and she moves her shoulder away like that, don't touch her again, okay? Back off a little bit. And maybe if she's hanging around you and she's still talking to you, she still wants to be in your space, then probably she wants you to try again. And she, maybe she's more comfortable now, all right? But you have to pay attention to the way she acts. But if you touch her and she kind of like sinks into it or she's fully okay with being into it or she reciprocates, that's great. But usually I just pay attention to the way they react when I, when I touch them, okay? So if you're in that position, you can, you can go uh, to, to the next stage, which is typically like a hug. Now, if she gives you a hug and she's holding on to you, that's great. The next stage after a hug is actually a kiss. What I usually do is I usually see how they hug me. If they're holding me in, if they're squeezing me close and their faces are close and then we back off and then we're, we're faces are almost touching, that probably means she wants you to kiss her, okay? But if she gives you the T-Rex hug and a pat on the back and stays away from you, probably doesn't want you to do that. Again, we're paying attention to the way uh, she's responding to you. So whether you're doing this and this, thing, this is taking place over, you know, 10 dates, or whether this is you literally met somebody and within five seconds you're making out, which, you know, admittedly in my early 20s, I've done a lot, you go through the same process. You know, for, for a five second make out, it would be something like this. You like, you, you see her, you make eye contact, you extend your hand, she touches it, interlocking the fingers, you bring her in, and you go for a little make out, and then, you know, usually, depending on how, like, well, uh, you know, how ready she is or how late the night is, you could probably take her home pretty quickly. Okay, again, you're seeing how she's responding to you, okay? And the other thing that you guys gotta do too, and this is probably the most important thing that I see guys mess up with consistently, is they hesitate. Do not hesitate. By the way, this doesn't mean go shooting in and go straight for the kiss. Start with small steps, but when you do them, don't like be shaking your hand and be like faking people out. The more hesitant you are, the more creepy you are. Basically, you're telling her, I don't feel confident enough in myself to actually be doing things. Don't go in with 99% belief. 
go in with 100% belief. And if you mess up, maybe she's not okay with it, just back off, okay? The way that you know you've gone too far and you don't have a shot is if she, um, if, is if he, she re recoils or something like that and she turns her, her back to you, okay? I remember there was one time where I was on a date where I tried to kiss this girl like five times and then by the sixth time, she was always doing this, by the way, she was like turning her head like, no, no, no. <laughs> but she was always looking back at me. She was, her body language is always facing me. And because of that, I knew she was still interested in me. And by the sixth time, she let me kiss her. We made out, she hugged my body, and then we both went home together, okay? But if I had tried to kiss her, she had turned her cheek and then turned away from me and then gone off someplace else. Obviously, that means she doesn't want me to do that again and she doesn't want anything to do with me honestly okay so if you mess up just apologize and move on to something else okay all right you guys that's how to touch a girl to turn her on if you do this right you guys you're gonna be getting women who want you to touch them more but you have to respond to the way somebody is acting towards you you gotta go in with a hundred percent belief if you do those things then you're gonna be ahead of like 99 percent of guys out there because most of what i've seen when the clients that you know not just my clients but guys in general is they just don't know how to do this so um for the guys that i've seen doing this it doesn't matter how good looking they are it doesn't matter like that sort of i've seen the best looking guys completely mess things up with women and I've seen guys that aren't that good looking get girls that are way above their mate value because they understand this all right thanks for watching you guys I come out with videos like this every single week if you're interested in getting coached by me there's a link down in the description box below thanks a lot y'all good luck out there